Well, folks, here it is. This is my piggy bank from my childhood. Yes, I saved money in my piggy bank. In fact, you can even hear a little bit rattling in there right now. And that is a very official looking pig, I must say. This thing's heavy. And uh, you can take off the bottom to get to your loot. Well, let's see here. What's it saying? Uh, made in Chicago. Anyway, um, so I want you to think a little bit about the way that you can save money relative to your oral health. And one of the biggest ways to save money with oral health is that you uh, prevent disease. So most dental disease can be prevented. Actually, you know, we ought to get this guy so he's flying. We need a flying pig. We need a jet pig. We need a pig on steroids. Well, no, that'd be abusive. Hmm. Anyway, what a cute pig. So, um, I'm here to encourage everybody to um, do the things that prevent dental disease. So, if you're a parent, you want to make sure that your child gets fluoride in your water supply, or that your child uh, has fluoride supplements in the way of tablets or uh, drops. Got a whole section about fluoride. Uh, very important to do your home care every day with your brushing and flossing, and there are a lot of other interesting things you can use for home care, depending on your specific conditions. Uh, definitely need to worry about your diet, so we need to worry about things like uh, sipping and nibbling between meals, and I can show you safe ways to do things too also like to share that another very important part of the puzzle is to have your regular dental visits. Don't wait till it hurts. You don't want to wait until you have to go to the dentist. Because usually by that time your condition is much more complicated. You need a lot more time with the dentist, which you may not appreciate. And it's a lot more expensive. And you're more likely to lose a tooth. So please uh, have regular dental visits with your dentist to do and prevent disease. Dr. Collins, over and out.